It's episode 8 of She-Hulk and we finally got to see Daredevil. It's the second to last episode of the show and this is by far the best episode that we've got. Best writing that we've had so far, the best jokes and also some good action scenes to go with it. Charlie Cox appears in the MCU for the second time after first doing it in Spider-Man No Way Home. And after the clips that we've seen of Daredevil in the she Cult trailer and also the cliffhanger at the end of the episode, we all knew that Daredevil was going to end up coming into the show. But it was just a matter of when. And then yesterday we got a first clip of She-Hulk and Daredevil fighting it out. Knowing that Daredevil was going to be in today's show. And we got a lot more of him than I was expecting. And what I feared the most about having Daredevil in this show was having him in She-Hulk due to the tone of She-Hulk so far. As it's very comedical and just the Netflix Daredevil was very dark and gritty in a sense. And how it would translate for Marvel Netflix to the MCU and I have to say they've done a great job introducing him into the show first off by having him as the lawyer for Jacobson and having him build up a rapport with She-Hulk so they didn't feel forced when they first met each other they met in the courtroom and then they could build a relationship from there and the chemistry that the two characters of She-Hulk and Daredevil had together on screen was really good and you can really believe that they were teamed up working together throughout and that it wasn't forced in the sense that she's a lawyer he's a lawyer teamed them up together and that they could actually build a friendship and a connection and then go out working together. And throughout this episode, we've got a lot more action scenes and fight scenes than we have throughout any of the other episodes, starting off with She-Hulk vs Daredevil. And, and this clip got released a couple of hours before the episode did. And out of context, it didn't look as good. But in context, in the episode, I think it worked really well. Having those two with the different skill sets, different abilities go up against each other. Daredevil doing a lot more tricks and a lot more acrobatics. And in the end, She-Hulk, in a sense, winning. Which didn't bother me as she is the Hulk, so you would expect her to win anyways. And also the other fight scene when Daredevil and She-Hulk are in the warehouse taking down the goons to save Jacobson. And... I do feel like they really were able to balance the courtroom lawyer stuff and the fight scene actions really well throughout this episode. And lastly on Daredevil before I get to the rest of the show, what they were able to also do well is introduce the character again and not make it feel forced on us and that we don't know Daredevil already. As we've had a Daredevil show and a lot of people have seen him from there. However, this is new to the MCU, new to Disney. So not everyone's seen him. So we do need a bit of a background so everyone can be caught up to a basic understanding of him. And how they were able to do that worked really well, integrating it into the episode by having like the echolocation, being able to hear heartbeats, getting a basic understanding of how Daredevil works. And I thought that was good as not everyone's caught up on Daredevil. And going into the gala, those last five minutes of the show were really needed as they really had to set something up for the finale. As until She-Hulk actually said it in the episode, I didn't realise next week was the final episode based on everything they set up and the direction the show was going in so far. As they've always done at the end of these shows, these cliffhangers lead into something but not always fulfilled it throughout the episode. As we've had the Wrecking Crew, then a couple of episodes later, we had them taking She-Hulk's blood and now we're going to get the payoff in the last episode and, and leaving some stuff on the back burner, not giving us the follow up to it. As also, we don't really know who the villain is really still, as I don't think it's Titania and what's their motive to do with getting She-Hulk's blood. So we'll find that out in the last episode now, but they didn't really set everything up so that we can have a satisfying conclusion to know what's going to happen in the last episode. So having those five minutes with the gala really did help to set up the last episode and also having a nice callback to the first episode when Hulk was talking about controlling your rage and She-Hulk not being able to do it and realising that in the moment at the end. So they set up next week for a nice conclusion to end off the show and even though I haven't been the biggest fan of the show, I really enjoyed this episode. I'm looking forward for the finale next week. So let me know your thoughts on episode 8. Daredevil coming back into the MCU and what you thought of his appearance in She-Hulk. And let me know what you think is going to happen in next week's episode as well.